Welcome to Aglesem School. Today in this video we are going to solve exercise 2.4 of chapter 2 that is fraction and decimals of class 7th NCRT mathematics. So let's start with the question. Let's start with the exercise 2.4 and the first question is find. This question has sub parts. Let's solve them one by one. Let's see the first part. First part is 12 divided by 3 by 4. When we divide in fraction, the divide sign change into multiplication and the number which will be dividing, the number change its place. The below number comes at the top and the top number takes the place in the below. So 12 divided by 3 by 4 will be divided in this way. 12 by 1 because it's, it should be a fraction. Div multiply by 4 by 3. The number change its place. 3 comes below and 4 come take its place above and if we multiply 12 by 1 with 4 by 3 we will get 16 because 3 is common in 12 and 3 ones are 3 and 3 fours are 12 that's why 4 into 4 is 16 that's why the answer is 16. Moving to the second part of this question is 14 divided by 5 by 6. So 14 upon 1 into the sign changes the fraction number changes its place again 6 by 5 5 by 6 changes into 6 by 5 if we multiply 14 by 1 with 6 by 5 we will get 84 upon 5 which is the improper fraction and we will change it into a mixed fraction which will be 16 whole 4 upon 5 let's move to the third part of the question which is 8 divided by 3 by 7 and again it's the same way the steps are same for every question in this part so 8 by 1 multiply as we have changed the sign from divide to multiply the 7 by 3 will change into 3 by 7 now we multiply 8 by 1 with 3 by 7 we will get 24 by 7 this is the improper fraction again we will change into a mixed fraction which will be 3 whole 3 by 7 Let's move to the fourth part of the question, which is 4 divided by 8 by 3. Again, way of doing is same as we have done earlier question. 4 divided by 8 by 3 will change into 4 by 1 into divide sign change into multiply and 8 by 3 will turn into 3 by 8. Now we will multiply. If there is any cross cancellation, we can do right here in this step. So this will be 4 by 1 into 3 by 8 it will cut down into 4 and 1 is a 4 4 2 is a 8 because 4 is 4 was common in both now we will multiply well that will be 3 by 2 it's again improper fraction we will change it to the mixed fraction which will be 1 whole 1 by 2 moving to the fifth part of the question which is 3 divided by 2 whole 1 by 3 well this is a mixed fraction we will change it to the improper fraction then we will multiply or we can say divide 3 divided by 2 whole 1 by 3 will change into 3 by 1 into 3 by 7 3 was below here the mixed fraction was 7 by 3 which is change into 3 by 7 now we will multiply it will be 9 by 7 it's again improper fraction we will change it into mixed fraction which will be 1 whole 2 by 7 Let's move to the sixth part of the question, which is 5 divided by 3 whole 4 by 7. As this is a mix, mixed fraction, we will change into an improper fraction, which will be 25 upon 7. If we divide 5 by 1 with 25 by 7, we will see we can change the divide sign into multiplication and 5 by 1 will, will be multiplied by 7 by 25 because after the changing the sign from divide to multiplication the fraction change its place it become 7 by 25 here we can do the cancellation 5 ones are 5 and 5 fives are 25 now we can multiply it will be 7 by 5 7 by 5 is a improper fraction we will change into a mixed fraction that will be one whole 2 by 5 Moving to the second question of the exercise, which is find the reciprocal of each of the following fractions. Classify the reciprocal as proper fraction, improper fraction or a whole number. 
well these are the numbers which you can see are the fractions we have to do the reciprocal we have to change their places the down will come up and up will come down so let's see and we have to see whether it's a proper fraction improper fraction or it's a whole number so first one is 3 by 7 if we do the reciprocal of this fraction we will see we will find that 3 by 7 will change into 7 by 3 which is a improper fraction because the below number is smaller than the above number second part is 5 by 8 the reciprocal fraction of 5 by 8 will be 8 by 5 which is again improper fraction because 5 is smaller than 8 third part is 9 by 7 the reciprocal fraction number will be 7 by 9 which is a proper fraction because below number is greater than the above number fourth part is 6 by 5 the reciprocal fraction number will be 5 by 6 which is again a proper fraction because 6 is greater than 5 moving to the fifth part fifth part is 12 by 7 12 by 7 the fraction the reciprocal fraction number will be 7 by 12 that's again a proper fraction because 12 is greater than 7 moving to the sixth part as you can see 1 by 8 if we do the reciprocal fraction of this number there will be 8 which is a whole number and the seventh part is same 1 by 11 if we do the reciprocal of this number this fraction it will be turned into 11 which is again a whole number moving to the third question of this exercise which is fine and this also we have to do the division so first part is 7 by 3 divided by 2 2 is a whole number to make it as a fraction we can put 1 below this so 7 by 3 divided by 2 will change into 7 by 3 multiply divide sign change into multiplication and then fraction number will reciprocal so it will 2 by 1 will change into 1 by 2 and now we will multiply 7 by 3 with 1 by 2 which will give us 7 by 6 6 is a smaller it is a improper fraction so make it as a mixed fraction which will be one whole 1 by 6 moving to the second part which is 4 by 9 divided by 5 it's again a whole number we can put 1 below 5 and make it a fraction so 4 by 9 divided by 5 will change into 4 by 9 multiply divide sign will change into multiply and 5 will change into 1 by 5 now we will multiply it will be 4 by 45 40 and it's a proper fraction moving to the third part which is 6 by 13 divided by 7 again it's a whole number we will put 1 below to make it a fraction so 6 by 13 divided by 7 will change into 6 by 13 into 1 by 7 divide sign will change into multiplication this fraction will be reciprocal which will become 1 by 7 and if we multiply this we will get 6 by 91 it's again a proper fraction moving to the fourth part of the question which is 4 whole 1 by 3 divided by 3 so this is a mixed fraction and this is a whole number we will make it as a fraction this and for this mixed fraction we will turn into improper fraction which will be 13 divided by 3 13 upon 3 divided by 3 will be change into 13 upon 3 multiply by 1 by 3 this will be change this will be reciprocal so 1 by 3 if we multiply this now we will get 13 upon 9 which is again a improper fraction we will change into a mixed fraction and this will be one whole 4 by 9 let's move to the fifth part of the question which is 3 whole 1 by 2 divided by 4 now this is again I'm pro um, this is a mixed fraction and this is a whole number we will change both into a fraction which will be 7 by 2 divided by 4 by 1 now we will multiply we will multiply them and the divide sign will change into multiply and this number will be reciprocal so 7 by 2 multiply by 1 by 4 which will give us 7 by 8 this is a proper fraction moving to the last part of this question number 3 is is part 6 which is 4 by 4 whole 3 by 7 divided by 7 this is again a improper fraction this is a mixed fraction and this is a whole number 
we will change it into a proper fraction and this into a improper fraction if we do the improper improper fraction of this number we will find that this will be 31 upon 7 divided by 7 by 1 again we will change the divide sign into multiplication and reciprocal this this part so 31 multiply 31 upon 7 multiply by 1 by 7 which will give us 31 upon 49 which is a proper fraction again so moving to the fourth part of the question is same it's fine we have to divide two fractions with each other so first part is 2 by 5 divided by 1 by 2 which is which is easy which is easy to do we have to just reciprocal the number the fraction number so 2 by 5 multiply by 2 by 1 which give us 4 by 5 it's a proper fraction moving to the second part of the question it's same says 4 by 9 divided by 2 by 3 so divide sign will change into multiply and the number will reciprocal so 4 by 9 into 2 by 3 will change into 3 by 2 now we can do the cross cancellation 3 1s are 3 3 3 is a 9 2 1s are 2 and 2 2 is a 4 if we multiply now we will get 2 by 3 which is again a proper fraction let's move to the third part we can see the third part that is 3 by 7 divided by 8 by 7 the divide sign will change into multiplication and the number fraction number will reciprocal so 3 by 7 will multiply by 7 by 8 because 8 by 7 will be reciprocal that's why it becomes 7 by 8 and if we do cancellation right here 7 7 cancelled so 3 by 8 is the answer and it's also a proper fraction moving to the fourth part of the question which is a mixed fraction which is 2 whole 1 by 3 divided by 3 by 5 this mixed fraction will change into a fraction which will be 7 by 3 divided by 3 by 5 now again this 7 by 3 will change into 5 by 3 because we have the we have changed the divide sign into multiplication and after doing that 3 by 5 will change into 5 by 3 if we now multiply 7 by 3 with 5 by 3 we will see we will get 13 35 upon 9 which is a improper fraction we will change it into a mixed fraction which is 3 whole 8 by 9 moving to the fifth part of the question which is 3 whole 1 by 2 divided by 8 by 3 this is a mixed fraction as you can see we will change into a fraction normal fraction normal fraction which is 7 by 2 divided by 8 by 3 the divide sign will change into multiplication and this number will reciprocal so 7 by 2 multiply as you have said this will change into multiply and 8 by 3 will change into 3 by 8 now we will multiply 7 by 2 with 3 by 8 we will get 21 upon 16 this is again a improper fraction now we will change it into a mixed fraction which will be one whole 5 by 16 moving to the sixth part of the question which is 2 by 5 divided by one whole 1 by 2 now the other number is mixed fraction now let's solve them first we will do change this mixed fraction into a normal fraction which will be 3 by 2 that means we have to divide 2 by 5 with 3 by 2 this divide sign will change into multiply and 2 by 5 will be now multiplied by 2 by 3 the number will change their place 3 by 2 will become 2 by 3 now we multiply it will be 4 by 15 2 2 is a 4 5 3 is a 15 and this is a proper fraction seventh part is both the numbers are mixed fraction first we will change it into a proper fraction then we will solve it so 3 whole 1 by 5 will ch change into 16 upon 5 and 1 whole 2 by 3 will change into 5 upon 3 now 16 by 5 will be divided by 5 by 3 now the divide sign will change into multiplication and this number will be reciprocal so 16 by 5 multiply by 3 by 5 this sign has been changed so now 16 3 is a 48 and 5 5 is a 25 this is again 48 upon 25 is a improper fraction we will change into a mixed fraction that will be one whole 23 upon 25 
मूविंग टू द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन विच इज टू होल वन बाय फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय वन होल वन बाय फाइव वी विल फर्स्ट चेंज दिस दिस मिक्स फ्रैक्शन इन टू फ्रैक्शन फॉर्म नॉर्मल फ्रैक्शन फॉर्म सो टू बाय टू होल वन बाय फाइव विल चेंज इन टू इलेवन अपॉन फाइव एंड वन होल वन बाय सिक्स विल चेंज इन टू सिक्स बाय फाइव सो डिवाइड एंड विल चेंज इन टू मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड दिस नंबर विल कम अप दिस विल डाउन सो इलेवन बाय फाइव मल्टीप्लाई बाय फाइव बाय सिक्स विल गिव अस इलेवन बाय सिक्स बिकॉज फाइव इज कॉमन इन बोथ दिस साइड वी विल कट डाउन दैम एंड इलेवन बाय सिक्स इज अ इम प्रॉपर फ्रैक्शन वी विल चेंज इन टू अक्स फ्रैक्शन दैट विल बी वन होल फाइव बाय सिक्स सो दैट वॉज ऑल फॉर द वीडियो वी हैव सॉल्व एवरी क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज फॉर मोर एनसीआर टी वीडियोज कीप ब्राउजिंग अगले सेम स्कूल्स